Placement lines are a great way to get designs placed exactly where you want them to go, and they are so easy to digitize. You first need to scan in your blank that you will be embroidering. I've scanned in a napkin for this design. You want to scan at 100% size when you scan and save the scan as a JPEG or a PNG on your computer. You'll select Insert Artwork and navigate to the location of your scan. Select your Save Scan and open it on your design screen. We're going to select the size of the hoop and I'll right click to open up the hoop dialog box. I'm going to choose the large oval hoop. I want to place a check mark by show hoop. I also want to have manual centering activated and I'll click OK. I'm going to select my napkin and rotate it 45 degrees and then I'm going to move this in the hoop so that the center of the napkin is on the center line of the hoop. You can use your right and left arrow keys on your keyboard to nudge the artwork. Once I get it in place, I want to right click on the artwork and lock the artwork. That way I won't accidentally move it. Now we'll go to the digitize toolbox, select the open object. You want a single outline and some kind of color. And I want to stay within the hoop boundaries, and I'm just going to digitize a line along the bottom of the napkin and press Enter. This line is going to stitch on my stabilizer, and I'll use a sticky stabilizer, and then I can place my napkin edge right along that digitized line. With that in place, I'll know that the design I'm about to add is going to go exactly where it needs to be on that napkin. The next thing we'll do is click on Insert Embroidery, and we're going to navigate to the design we're going to be using, and click on Open. I'll want to also rotate this design while it's activated. And then I can use my arrow keys to move it to get it exactly where I want it placed. Now I can also add an initial if I want by right clicking on the lettering icon, entering the initial, changing the size, changing the font, click OK, and click on the screen. And once again, you can move the design to be exactly where you want it. You may wish to change the color of the letter. You can do so by selecting it and then clicking on a color chip. I'm going to select my two objects and go to the Arrange Toolbox and Align Centers Vertically. And this design is now ready to send to the machine. Again, the placement line will stitch on the stabilizer. I'll place my napkin in place, and then I can stitch the design and the letter. You do need to have a color stop in between the placement line and the rest of your design.